Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco again, and today we're going to work on unit conversions, converting certain units of measurement to other units of measurement. This is very useful in many areas of life. It's tested in lots of tests like the GKT, the T's test, SAT, all kinds of places, and uh, but it's definitely practical in real life. There's many different ways to do this. But today I'm going to show you something called the picket fence method, which is one of my favorite methods. So let's start out with this one here. We'll get right into it. Uh, how many inches are in 100 yards? So we've got inches is one of our units of measurement and yards is the other unit of measurement. So we're going to be converting what we know into what we don't know. So first of all, we're going to need to know some what are called conversion factors. Conversion factors are what we're going to be using to convert units of measurement from one to the other. Now, they may be given to you um, or you might have to look them up or some of you may have these memorized. Hopefully you'll eventually with some of them like inches and feet and things like that, you'll have them memorized. But let's go ahead and mark down some of these. So um, I'm gonna get the relevant ones. We have yards. So let's start with one yard is equal to three feet. That's one conversion factor. One yard is equal to three feet. Another one would be since we got feet, let's go with one foot is equal to 12 inches. These are some that would be very important for you to memorize. Many of you already know them, but if not, I would take some time to memorize these because you'll be able to work quicker if you know them. All right, so these are our conversion factors that we're gonna need. We've got everything, yards, inches, feet. We've got everything we need here and you're gonna see how this works. So I always start with what I know and I move to what I don't know. So what do we know? We know we've got 100 yards. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to write down 100 yards because that's what we know. And then I'm going to create a picket fence and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I draw a line like that under the 100 yards and I go ahead and put the first picket for my picket fence. And we're going to make the first conversion from yards. We're going to do it a step at a time um, to get all the way to the end, which our ultimate goal is going to be inches. When we get to inches, we'll know we're done. All right, so I'm going to look at my first conversion factor that has yards. I've got yards to feet, yards to feet. So I'm going to use this one first because I'm starting with something I already know. Since I've got yards in the numerator here, in other words, it's on the top part of my fence, I'm, and I want yards to go away because my final answer, I want inches. I don't want yards anymore, so I want yards to go away. Since yards are on top here, I'm going to put yards on the bottom here. All right, and my other conversion factor here is feet. So I'm going to put feet on top. So we got the feet and yards. Now I just have to put the appropriate numbers. So in this case, I've got a one next to the yards. So I'm going to put the one next to yards here. And next to feet, I've got three. So I'm going to put that three here. So all I've taken is my conversion factor and stacked it in part of my fence here. And because I've got yards on the bottom and yards on the top, and I realize that one yard isn't actually plural, but work with me. This is math, not English. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out yards like that. So our yards actually go away. Yards over yards are going to cancel out. Time to put our next picket in. Our next picket is here. I've got feet on top. So that's the only remaining measure, the only remaining unit. I don't want feet, I want inches. So I look to my next conversion factor, one foot is equal to 12 inches, and I'm gonna utilize that one. And again, because I want feet to go away and I've got it on top here, I'm gonna put feet on the bottom over here. And what is the other unit? Well, the other one is inches on top. Got the other one, inches. Now I'm gonna put the numbers next to them. I put one next to feet or foot in this case, and inches, I've got a 12 next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 12 next to the inches. The feet on top 
and the feet on the bottom cancel each other out. So the only unit I have left is inches, which is what we're looking for. So now the only thing left to do is to pull out the calculator and do my calculations. The bottom is easy. I'm, I don't have anything here, and I always start with this one being blank. And I don't want to put a zero here because we're multiplying. If we multiply by zero, you wind up with a zero. So you could put a one, but let's not. Let's just leave that blank. We're going to start here. One times one is one, right? So across here we have a one. One times one is one. There are no units because yards canceled out, feet went away. So we just have the number one. Then let's pull out the calculator and go across on the top. Okay, so on the top I've got, and let me go ahead and turn this on. I've got 100, and I'm going to multiply it by 3, and I'm going to multiply it then by 12. And across the top, I have 3,600. 3, what units? Inches. And since 3,600 inches over 1, the one really just goes away, right? So our answer is 3,600 inches. And that's the answer to how many inches are in 100 yards. It's quite a lot, 1,000, I mean, 3,600. If you're finding this helpful so far, go ahead and hit the smash, the like button, and go ahead and subscribe to get more information such as this, and hopefully it's helpful. Let's do another one, and uh, this one will be I don't want to say in reverse, but it's going to be going from uh, a large number to perhaps a smaller one. So this one we've got how many days? How many days are in 172,800 seconds? So we're going to be converting days or converting seconds into days. So we need some conversion factors. So let's say we've got one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And we've got uh, minutes, so let's do one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we've got minutes and hours. Let's do one day is equal to 24 hours. So we've got days and hours and seconds. I think we have everything we need for our conversion factors. So having that information, let's go ahead and again, start with what we know and go to what we don't know. And the first thing we know is we have 172,800 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line to work on my picket fence. Let's put the first picket in here. I've got seconds on top and I want seconds to go away because I'm converting to days, right? So I want seconds to go away. Since seconds are on top here, I'm gonna look at my conversion factors that have seconds, and that would be this first one. And so since seconds are on top, I'm gonna to put seconds on the bottom. And our other unit is minutes. And I'm gonna put the numbers next to them. I'm gonna put the one next to the minute and the 60 next to the seconds. Seconds on top and seconds on the bottom cancel out. And we're going to go and put our next picket. We have minutes here, and I want the minutes to go away. So I'm going to use this next one here. we got minutes and hours. So I'm going to go ahead and put minutes on the bottom because I want minutes to go away. And we put hours on top. And let's put the numbers next to them. I've got a one next to the hour and I've got a 60 next to the minutes. Let's go ahead and cancel out the minutes because there's minutes on top and minutes on the bottom. And now we're left with hours, but we don't want hours, we want days. So let's move on, put another picket. You can see these pickets can go on and on. We just keep doing our conversions. I, I have hours on top, so I want hours on the bottom and that leaves us days on top. Let's go ahead and put the numbers. I, there's a one next to the day and there's a 24 next to the hours. So I put that there. The hours and hours cancel out. 
So my only unit left is days, which is what we want. So I don't need any more conversion factors. So now let's go ahead and do some calculations. All right, on the bottom, let's do the bottom first. I've got 60. And again, these units have gone away. So this is just purely a number, 60. And I'm going to multiply it by another 60. And I'm going to multiply it by 24. So on the bottom, on the bottom, I have 86,400. And there's no units for it, 86,400. Now on the top, I have 172,800. And I multiply it by 1 times 1 times 1. So on the top, we have 172,800. And what's the units? Days. So let's go ahead and do this division. So I have, let me clarify this. Let me go ahead and clean it up a little. So right now I've got 172,800. And my unit is days. And that is all divided by 86,400. And there's no units here. So I'm going to wind up with something with days. So let's go ahead and punch that into the calculator. So I'm going to clear this. And I have 172,800. I'm going to divide it by 86,400. And that gives me the answer of two. Two days. And that is how many days 172,800 seconds represents. This is how you do unit conversions using the picket fence method, which is one of my favorite methods. This can be done with all kinds of conversions. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have, please give this video a like. It will help this information get out to others. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our, my channel. It will help it grow. And uh, hit the alert button and you'll get alerts anytime I post a new video. So it, until next time, keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.